So the last thing I want to do is just show you how to post to Plotly directly. So I created in the last video this ggplot example, and here it is over here. It was labeled gg. So if I type gg in the, win in the R prompt, it's going to bring it up in the viewer pane. But if I typed Plotly underscore post gg, then what it'll do is actually plot, uh, post it to the Plotly website. And the Plotly website, there's all different um, things that you can do. Um, you know, th this is the sort of output, but if you click on edit here, it will you'll give you all different tools to, to edit it with their graphical user, their web-based graphical user interface. So, um, you know, I think Plotly is fairly self-explanatory, but they, ha they also have videos on how to use it and a lot of tutorials and things like that. So um, try exporting a graphic to Plotly and working with their user interface for playing around with it, changing the axes, changing the variable names, and so on. The last thing I want to say before I finish is that in order for this to kind of work seamlessly, you have to set these two environment variables. If you just look at... Um, you know, search, Google search on post to Plotly from R, it will direct you to this page. You basically have to set a Plotly username and Plotly API key. To get your API key, you just go in Plotly to settings and there's and just copy and paste it from there. Okay? And so then when you set these two environment variables, especially if you, if you put those in your .r pri profile so that they're set every time you start up R, uh, then you won't be prompted for your credentials.